Okay, I'm going to show you how um, I wrap a thinner coated um, standard. I mean, he's by no means thin, but he's a lot thinner than my boy. This is Hank. This is my friend's poodle. So first, I'm going to take this front section, and I have you know his top line here all brushed out. Um, I'm going to come from a little bit behind the eyes, and I'm going to come straight across with this pick, and I'm going to part this out. Um, see how that line's really choppy? You don't ever want to put it up with it being choppy like that. Um, so I'm going to come back through and I'm going to make sure that this is as straight as I can get it because any of those little hairs, um, they're going to make it more itchy for him. Um, we don't want it to be itchy. We want him to leave it alone and it to be comfortable for him while he's wearing these wraps. Um, so once I get that parted off, I'm going to bring this back. I'm just going to put my comb in it. Keep it out of the way. So, now we're going to prepare a wrap. So these are from uh, Color Coordinated Canine. You're going to want to fold down twice. That way there's no sharp edges against the hair. And just really put a nice, nice crease in that. So, we're going to take our section of hair. We're going to make sure we have it all straight up in here. So we grab a hold of that. Take our wrap and put it at the base. And what I do is I pinch the hair in between my fingers while I straighten this wrap out. And then I pull it tight. And start wrapping it around. This is a little tricky to do with fake nails. I've never, I haven't had fake nails in 10 years, so. So once you get it wrapped all the way around, you're going to make it flat. You're going to fold it down, but not quite to the end. And then you're going to fold it in a third and then in another third. So once you have it here, then you're going to get your bands. Maybe. And you're going to put in two bands, one at the base. So right there at the bottom of the wrap. And we're gonna put another one more toward the top. And that's gonna hold that in there really good. And you'll see that this is loose. We don't want it too tight because that's gonna pull on his head. So I'll show you after the next wrap how to band that back to where it's out of his eyes. Um, but that way that's coat protected and it's not gonna be pulling his hair so that he's not irritated by it. Now we're going to take our next section. I usually, my second section on a coat about as thick as this is, you know, I'll go all the way to the, the front of the ears back there. Um, and like I said, this is kind of difficult for me with nails. I'm going to try to dremel them off tonight so that tomorrow's video will be a little bit better. Um, but again, we're just going to make sure that line's really nice and straight. And I have his head on a uh, pillow pet because we forgot his head pillow at home. Um, so you can certainly make do with what you have. <laughs> I used to use a pillow pet when 
at shows and it works fine. Anything to kind of give them something to rest their little head on is good enough. So again, I'm gonna make sure that I've got all this straight so that when I get it in the wrap, it's all nice and straight in there. Get all that hair out of the way. Hank, thank you. So again, I'm going to fold twice, a nice crease in it. And you'll notice that sometimes I use my mouth um, to keep the wrap up and straight. It's Some people do it that way. Some people are talented enough to not do it that way. I find it's easier for me. <coughs> um, so, I mean, you'll kind of find what works for you, but that's, that's something that helps me while I'm getting it all in there and stuff. So, again, I'm going to pinch it here at the bottom with my fingers. Take the wrap around, pinch it back with my fingers again, trying to keep it as tight as I can. And it does get easier the longer their hair gets. He was taken out a coat not long ago, so he's growing back from that. Okay, so now that I've got this around three times, I'm going to twist it around at the top so it's also around three times, and then I'm going to put it in my mouth. You'll notice I'm always trying to keep that hair tucked in there. Um, like I said, it's easier when it gets longer because it's not so full, so close to the base. Um, but as I go around, I'm tucking in this hair that wants to stick out. Okay, so again, I'm going to make sure this is nice and flat. I promise you there are people that do them much prettier than me, but it works. Okay, so again, no sharp edges against the hair, so we're going to fold it almost all the way down, but not quite. Flatten it out again, and then we're going to do thirds. So there's our wrap. So again, a band at the base. And a band at the top. Okay, so then as I said before, to keep that back out of his eyes, you can band these two together. And that will keep that back. And he's got some little hairs that we're working on growing back. So, um, And then you're just going to keep doing that. Um, typically, if you're trying to grow a show coat, you want to take it and you want to part it all the way back and do it at least, you know, to the base of their neck um, to help grow all this neck coat like we're trying to grow back with him. So... That's what I'm going to keep doing all the way back, and I will show you more on my dog tomorrow. <laughs>